can see the code. So what we are going to look at now is these three things. So uh, what is the actor system? What is a, a factory of behaviors, a behaviors factory, and types. And so let's have a look at it. Let me see if I can. What I was trying to talk about is about these basics here. So the whole world. So again, we will go back and put this back. So what is the actor system, the behaviors, factory, and the types? The actor system, and uh, if we look at here, uh, this part that is some sort of uh, on, on gray, and what it, it represents is the part of the system of ACA that we just don't know about, or we don't know, or we don't need, or we don't want to know about. That's how all the system works behind the curtains, behind the scenes. But the actor system for us, is the user guardian, which will be this first uh, actor that we create. And from that actor, we start to spawn actors all over the place, um, being um, in a relation of parent and child. So that will be what we are going to look at now in the behaviors factory. So uh, how can we build actually actors with these factories? And of course, if we are talking about archetypes, yeah, from a little bit about the types. So the actor system. The actor system you can see here is just part of the basics of ACA. And what you need to do in order for you to create that first actor that is the parent of all of them is to call to that that um, constructor and pass another constructor of an actor. In this case, um, what, what we have here is an actor that is defined just by this apply method which is very scala like is uh, uh it's called for the, the the function itself of this object what we can see already is that this actor system has this uh, uh string in here which means that that's the type that um, the actor has which is the very same that we have here meaning that that type is the type of messages this actor is expecting that's the only messages we can send to it. That's why we are sending later on after creating this guardian, we are creating, we are passing a, a, or sending a couple of messages to, to this actor. And this is just a little bit of uh, kind of you know, good practice in a way to say, like, well, uh, when you finish your with your um, system, is better just to terminate it. So you allow the system to. Um, to close everything that is open to um, some of the services and some actors. So some sort of coordinated sh shutdown. And we do this in here just by pressing a key, which this doesn't, it's not important for what I'm, for what I'm trying to explain here. So we have the actor system now, and we see the types, and um, what we see is now these behaviors here. And these are the factories, the okay, factories that uh, allow us to create actors and yeah, maybe we can start um yeah let us start from, from the beginning or from the upper one and you can see already that um, this um, behavior contains this behavior that in turn contains this behavior so behaviors are created as a um, uh, rushing goals and uh, that you put one inside the other and that's the way you compose them in a very functional way and and at the beginning what we have is this first behavior that it says like oh i'm, I'm going to set up this actor just once uh, it runs just uh, when you create the actor that is the time we will create in this case we are just logging um, something and what it expects is uh, uh the input of a uh, of this context which is the actor context which the the system will take care of passing it uh, and in, in, in it's with that context that in this case, for instance, we are logging, or you could do some other stuff like coming into self to maybe to find out what is the name of the actor, the precise name of, or the path of the actor. And you can, through that, also like look for the children or spawn more actors with this context. So this will run once, but where we actually uh, have the, the the part that actually deals with the messages is this uh, factory here. This factory uh, is expecting 
uh, to receive a message, this is expecting a message or type stream that we are setting here. And, and with that kind of message, what we can do is again use the context that you, you can see now that the context is used by the context from the setup. So it's composable and it's, it's reusable. And just again, just login and that is not that's not matter. Maybe the, the most important part of all these behaviors or the most that could be confusing at the beginning is this part here, where is where you can set up the uh, what is the uh, next behavior uh, for uh, the next message. So this when you, when you pass this first message, this will be received by this uh, behavior here. And what we are saying here is that, okay, for the next message, the behavior that you're going to use is actually the same, meaning, yeah, you go back and you use the very same behavior again. That's what we saw at the beginning that we were saying that one of the three actions of, of, of the actor is the third one is that you need to designate the behavior for the next message. And here we are doing that. And with this, uh, I guess we, we have a little bit of the taste of what an actor system is, what the messages are, and how uh, it works the construction of an actor. Of course, I mean, there's not much to show in here. Yeah, maybe I will load the SVT and then I'll show you later. And maybe we'll sell more meaningful examples. In this case, well, maybe what, what we, I can show here is, for instance, the first that this compiles and we create it compiles. So it does, it's good, it's oh, sorry, it compiles. So, yeah, yep. Yeah. It should. Let's take it again. Okay. No, they do one. Oh, minimal. Sorry for that. Oh, this is a bit slow. Yeah. So if I import. And then do this again. And now the system. This is not there is no system. So like that, no, it should work. Yeah, but well, in, in any case, I, I didn't want to run this. So what I wanted to do is just do, um, let me see, this is basics run. The basic, right, like the hello world. Yeah, that's it. You get three one, which is not very, Okay, yeah, so we, there, there we are, we are that working, we got the two messages there, and when we press the, the, the sorry, it's not really not that, yeah, so when we press in the, in the line, or we read the line, then uh, it will terminate the system, this is what we see here, the cognitive shutdown. And just, I guess, what, what I wanted to show is the simplicity of this beautiful thing here, that you may say, ah, that's not, you know, yeah, maybe it's, it's quite simple, but the fact that this will not compile, that's, kind of, it's, that, that's really, really powerful. And you can see where you see that. You can see that in this message, um, it was found the intent in the initial part of string in the Guardian 3. Yes, we, we have done the wrong. So that, those are the types. And now just to expand on it uh, about the, the string at the beginning in this first example we were talking about okay this actor is just you, you can send strings to this actor and that is good but um, generally the way you do things you, you, you send them proper messages meaning that you create like a protocol and that protocol is the messages that you can send uh, it's even a little bit more complex than this generally these messages extend from a trait or from an interface uh, such that you can define that or put that interface in here. We will see, we will see how that works, but you can see that uh, uh, using the message as the defining type of the actor and now using that same message. Um, another factor that we have here, uh, of, of course, this example is, is quite similar. It's a bit different in that we are not having a setup we have no context and therefore there is another factory that instead of receiving message that expects just a message as we see what we seen before just a message there is like there's many many factories and this one is another one we will use often that 
is respecting the actual context and the message. And then it's there where you match the message and then you can use the context for whatever you want to do. But I guess the point that I, I thought it was most important is this one, is um, how behaviors, um, uh, you can set these behaviors to stop, meaning like the, the next message that you try to send to this actor, it won't even work because um, you decided that this actor is going to stop. We talked a little bit about actor system, behaviors, factors, types, and now uh, finite state machines. And um, finite state machines, uh, we can look at this example here, again, very simple, in which you have the same actor, the hello world as before, and now we have the receive instead of the receive message. So the, the uh, factory that we saw, but the uh, finite state machine is it's here. We, you can see how, what is happening that by the, uh, this is uh, when you create the whole world, uh, apply will be the first uh, entry uh, method of the, uh, of the first message. So when you, we, you can define here how you're going to handle this is how we handle it, we're just plugging something, and then we are setting what is the next behavior that is going to receive the next message, so it's gone. Now, this is going to be for this second message, is going to run on this, in this behavior, and this behavior is just saying, uh, well, then it takes that message, so did you say that message? I'm sorry, I have to go. So the, this behavior is giving us like a different output message, and at the end, the next behavior that you, we are setting here this behavior is stopped, meaning that, uh, as we saw before, that this actor is going to stop, and this third message that we are trying to send to this actor, it will never reach. Um, when this happens, uh, uh, then the system behind, that uh, we have behind, that we saw here, all the system that we have behind is taking care of those messages, and it will and that, that message that it cannot be sent to this actor because this actor is now stopped, is not there anymore, is sent to one actor called the letters. So we might have a look at that one. This one. Yeah, it's like it duplicated the, the thing or something. Uh, yeah, this is the beauty of the. Yeah. The left now group yeah. So now the which one was that? The FSM four, right? So we can see like um, the receive message, the hello world, and the I did you say sorry? And there is now more messages than that. So we kind of lost that. Um, we could through configuration uh, add the message of uh, to see that the the last messages. It went to the, the letter Qs, but in this case, we, we don't have it configured yet. So that is that, the find the machines. Now the state, this is another, uh, this is one of the big, big things that must have a simple one, the, the counter. So one of the most amazing things that, this is when you see the concurrency working. When you have a state, which is the usual case, I mean, state, I mean, you may think about the stateless functions, but that's, uh, the, 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 the crux of the matter is generally in the state. And here's a, uh, how, how you deal with the state in is uh, extremely simple in, in ACA. So again, the guardian in this case, uh, you have um, uh, an actor. In this actor, in the apply method, in this constructor, it has, um, well, it's not really a constructor of the value, but uh, two parameters. There is a counter that has a count, like what is the current count that this message is in, and a maximum number of, of, of increases that you can, or the maximum count that you can have. So more, a little bit more about that. And so how that kind of this works. So we create this counter, we say, like, okay, as the initial count will be zero, and the maximum count that we're going to allow for this one is two. What we are doing now is just having three, and kind of knowing that because we say that the maximum is two, it will never get to three, it will uh, reach its maximum. So now what we are sending is the increase uh, command. And in here we see what I was mentioning before about the uh, extending from a trait. So we have the protocol, this is the protocol here. And actually, this is the protocol. 
um, and, and now extend from a command, which is what the the type that you, you which is the kind of the of the actor that you have. In this case, just command. Kind of usual also these notations were the, the semantics. And we already saw the receive, so when it receives the message, the message, the match of the message, in case is the increase, which is so far the only one we have, it will just increase the count. And here is actually the important thing. So if the current is less or equal than the max, so we're still good, we, we didn't reach, um, we didn't surpass the max, then you know, here is the, the tricky part, maybe to read at the beginning. So what you're, you are designating here was going to be the next behavior, which is the very same, you said, well, is the apply, is apply again, but you are passing to it two parameters now. The current, which is the increased uh, count, and the same maximum. So you're still uh, calling to this method here, that it, you designate to be that behavior, the next message, for the next message. And for that behavior, it will uh, get this current and this max as inputs. And that's the way you keep the state. So each time it, it, the current increases, it increases here. And for the next behavior, the next message, the behavior will keep the state. So, and that's it. Uh, it is, this kind of, um, this kind of, once you understand it, it's very intuitive and allows you to stop thinking about um, concurrency and, and logs and things like that. You just, you have your state inside your actor and you deal with it the way you think it's, you need to. You take the, in this case, it's just a count. You take your variable there, you move it around, you shuffle it, and then you pass it to the next, next behavior. You do not need to care about the rest of the world. This is the end we were talking about the, at the beginning. So the end that you don't care about what is happening in the colony, the end knows its job. That's all it, that all it needs to know. And no coordination, it's needed. And in that case, this, this, is, this instruction is extremely powerful. That's, that's, that's the key point of app. We all the clustering and resiliency, you know, but this is the this is the thing, the state and the locality. This is the, the avoiding the concurrency problems which is very, very hard. And uh, then uh, in case that you reached the, uh, already you were at the max in the counting and you try to increase more, which is the case of the message. Now we are just stopping here and we already see a couple of times. I guess this, you can see as well, and this one will be number six. I'm increasing to one, increasing to one, and then we get the second message of Yes, I'm at a low the counting three, one well, match is two, getting there, or again, not much to say there, but that is the state.